Yay! Hi, everybody. Uh, Hi, everybody. Let's breathe, shall we? Let's center in and um, acknowledge the power and the strength and the joy and the relief of this present moment. We don't have to wait for now. Now is perfect. You don't have to be any different than you are right now to participate fully in now. You are glorious. You are heroic. You have survived amazing things. You have lived through and grown so much and you have so much to share with the world. Let's breathe right now and just experience that spiritual bounty that you have. You are possessed of so much. How could there be any lack anywhere? Let your belly go soft. Let your shoulders drop. Soften your gaze, your heart, your jaw, your hands, the bottoms of your feet. And you're ready? Let's inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that felt so good. Thank you for doing that with me. Um, I wanted to suggest to you, um, because I was looking at our uh, page for Get It Done Live. And if you haven't looked at it lately, you may not know, Veronica took, um, edited some of the clips from the training that I did and edited like this little two minute version. And it's amazing. I know she's not told, she's like, I gotta go back and fix some things. I'm like, I think it's perfect. And the reason I want you to look at it is because I know when I was starting out, I was very shy. I felt like I didn't have any money to hire an assistant or a team. I felt like, like, I don't even know what they would do. I don't know how to explain to them what I want. Um, and I just want to show you that when you bring on brilliant people and give them the freedom to, to do what they do best, you end up with things like a little sizzle reel on your sales page that is mind blowing. Um, so Take a look at that. So especially if you were on the habit trail training, go ahead and just go over to um, the real sambennett.com forward slash get dash it dash done dash live, get it done live with hyphens. Um, and just take a look at that little video because it's so well done. It's really exciting. And if you have a friend that you're thinking about inviting, send them to that page because, you know, it's so much more fun when you do it with two. Uh, Gay Nell signed up. Lori signed up. Great to see you. Oh, hi, people. Um, good. So how are you? What's happening? We're going to do our 15 minute experiment because that's what I sent out. I sent it out to the entire list. Usually I just send it out to a smaller version of the list, but today I sent it out to everybody. And I was like, look, if you're skeptical about this 15 minute thing and who wouldn't be, because it sounds dumb, frankly. Like, oh yeah, I can solve my life in 15 minutes a day. For sure, Sam. Um, <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> you actually can. And the reason for this is threefold. One, you can get way more done in 15 minutes than you think you can. You can get way more writing done. You can get way more work done, way more clutter clearing done, way more internal spiritual cleaning done, whatever it is that you need done. Um, uh, amazing. Um, you can get way more done in 15 minutes than you think. And I want you to prove that to yourself in about two minutes. Um, it hopscotches right over your perfectionism right? All that, I don't know. I'm so overwhelmed. What if it's not perfect? What if I fail? Honey, it's 15 minutes. I mean, how can you fail in 15 minutes? Even if you just stare outside going, ah, maybe that was what was necessary for you in that moment. 
So it just gets you out of that cycle, that habit of procrastination and perfectionism. And then thirdly, we have the fabulous spillover effect, right? You spend 15 minutes doing something that matters to you. And the next thing you know, you're walking around all day like, hi, how can I help you? Because <laughs> you're feeling awesome because you've spent 15 minutes on something that mattered to you. Um, Veronica is saying she also needs to shout out to Lucy. Some of you have encountered Lucy, our incredible customer service manager. Uh, she has saved my bacon on other tasks this week like four times. Lucy is a godsend. We love Lucy. Um, hi, Julie. Great to see you. And just says it only took 15 minutes to clean one room. Today, I'm going to have to do 15 minutes in each room. I only have five. <laughs> That's great. I love it. I love it. Hi, Lucy. We love you. We're so grateful for you. Hi, Carrie Ann. All right. So here's what's going to happen. Whatever comes to mind first when I say, what do you need to spend 15 minutes working on is the thing you're going to spend 15 minutes working on. I don't care if you think it's dumb, if it's good or it's bad, it's for you, it's for somebody else. I don't care. But I want it to matter. You know, I want it to matter. I don't want you checking your email for 15 minutes. No one gives a shit about your email. That's not going to move the needle on anything, right? You want to reach out? You want to send a couple of emails? Fine. Um, Lori went for a 15 minute walk. Fantastic. Um, you know, you want to spend 15 minutes communing with an animal friend. You want to spend 15 minutes here. It's raining here in Connecticut. Um, just staring at the rain, whatever works for you. Okay. Don't second guess yourself. Don't get all judgy. This is just an experiment. We're playing around to see what could possibly happen in 15 minutes, right? Like they say in AA, stick around for the miracle. Just try it. Don't think you know better, just try it. And then we'll see where we're at. And if I'm wrong, you'll tell me I'm wrong and we'll discuss it. I'd be interested to hear, okay? So here we go. I'm setting my timer. For 15 minutes, I'll do the little minute to minute countdown. And you ready? Does everybody have something to do? I'm so excited. Okay. Go. Oh.
Okay, and we're just about at the end of time. So I'm going to take a minute to wrap up. Thank you for <laughs> indulging me. In my... Kanel said that I was a card, an index card. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is, uh, cracks me up. I don't know why I think it's so funny, but I do. Um, there it is. There's our timer. Okay. So how was that for you? What did you notice? What happened? What surprised you? What did not surprise you? Um, and Joe said 13 minutes was plenty for her. She was done. That's ideal. I love that. You know, 15 minutes doesn't have to be 15. It can be five. It can also be 12 hours, you know? The point is that you get started and you make some progress, right? Um, I also love, Julie said, um, I'm here to tell you, you can solve your life in 15 minutes a day. Making it non-negotiable made it a habit and now it's just fun and successful. I'm succeeding at everything I try. Julie, I love that for you. That's so exciting. And this is really what we were talking about in the habit trail training. If you guys didn't see that, it was a little training I did about habits and about how when we have things that we're procrastinating on, we are creating a habit of failure, a habit of disappointment, a habit of self-abandonment, a habit of not keeping our word to ourselves. But when you make even a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit of progress, actual behavioral progress, not just making a plan or an affirmation or a wish, but actually doing something, behavior changes, you start to create a habit of success, of accomplishment, of keeping your word to yourself. And the feeling of that is just glorious. And it answers the question of like, well, how can I be confident without being cocky? This is how. When you're like, no, I know I can do it. I keep my promises to myself. That's not cocky. That's just knowing that you're you and that you'll do it. And that gives confidence to other people, right? They'll start to buy it too, because it's real. It's authentic. Um, Lucy says she loves the minute card reminders, especially on my head. <laughs> Cracking up. Thank you very much. Um, at least it's the last minute is always too long. You may have noticed I'm not exactly precise about every minute being 60 seconds time is elastic and sometimes it takes me a second to draw the numbers. So um, if you're feeling like that last minute was longer, it probably was. Um, and just says, okay, my office is going to take 15 more minute days, but made great progress. That's amazing. June says stuff takes longer than I'd hoped. Right. But at least you've started. At least you've done it. Even this much, even if it's just this much, right? Um, Lori says, glad it ended when it did. I was practicing my podcast story and I got into a part that started me crying. I'll need to work on that. Um, so Lori, here's my, here's my thought on that um, because you want to share the stuff that's emotional and truthful to you. You want to share the stuff that moves you. You do want to be far enough away from the story so that you can tell it without you losing your own emotional center. Do you know what I mean? If you lose your own emotional center, if you tip over into being hysterical or being angry or being whatever, then your audience feels like they have to take care of you and they get nervous, right? But if you can tell the story, maintaining your own emotional space, it's fine if you cry a little bit or snuffle a little bit. Um, as long as you're just continuing to tell the story in a way that benefits them. And if it's still too raw, then maybe it's not the right story to tell pick another story or make it apocryphal, make it about some, you know, change the details so it doesn't get you so much, right? But that's the thing. You want to use your own life and your own experiences and your own emotions when you're teaching, but only in a way that serves them, right? Only in a way that serves them. But you're an emotional person. It's okay to be emotional on your podcast. Uh, Julie says, did my stretches, which I've recently gotten out of the habit of doing, consider the habit reestablished. Well done. Lee says the 15 minutes forces me to complete things instead of just spending time waffling over the ideas and decisions. Amen, Lee, right? The amount of time, if I could power a car off of y'all second guessing, I would have the most efficient, I would have the most powerful car in the universe. So yeah, getting past the second guessing, getting past the, well, maybe I should this, well, maybe it'd be better if I this, what if I started here, what if that? Ah, not helpful. The solution you're looking for is in the doing. The result is in the doing. The answer is in the doing. You guys are great thinkers, but your brain is only good for some things, not everything. 
And Joe says, I'm making a list of things to do 15 minutes at a time. Excellent. That's one of the things we do in the Get It Done Workshop, actually, is make a list of 15 minute things. So then if, say, you've made a habit of doing it every day, you can just look at the list and go, oh, I feel like doing this one today. And then you don't have to like think about it, right? Edith says, I reached out to two friends by email. I love that. Love that. I just did that yesterday. I just texted some of my friends from college. That's how long we've been friends. Um, great, great ideas. Judy says, I got so deeply into writing something that I literally jumped when you came back on. That is true concentration. Well, that's the other thing. I think when your brain knows, like, we only have to do this for 15 minutes, it sort of allows you to go more deeply into it rather than like, oh, what time is it? Oh, should I be doing this? Oh, I don't know. Like, you're constantly pulling yourself out of it. But when you let somebody else hold the space for you, you can go really deep. So that's great, Judy. I can't wait to see your writing is exquisite. I can't wait. You all are the best and the smartest. You better be signing up for Get It Done program. That's all I got to say. The thing is $365 for crying out loud. And you get uh, a training every week. You get an open Q&A with me every week. You can ask me questions via email. I'll answer them on the Q&A. Um, this is the flagship program that I started. I started, started, started in 2001. So over 20 years ago, and it's been a bunch of iterations. It started out as a one day and then a two day and then a four week and then a six week and then a 12 week and then a six week and it was live and it was online and it was on teleseminar. And now we're doing it in this hybrid um, way, but the material is still, every time I revisit it, it's amazing. Um, get it done is old enough to drink. Oh, and believe me, she will. <laughs> get it done is looking forward to a nice Michener's bourbon at the end of the day. <laughs> Perhaps a little glass of Chardonnay, something like that. Um, good. Let's see. Guess what my, uh, Julie says, by the way, the bookcase I decided to get two Thursdays ago in the 15 minute experiment is arriving tomorrow. Guess what my 15 minutes will be tomorrow. Gay Nell says, opening the box. Yes, exactly. Phyllis says, I addressed envelopes for an upcoming event celebrating my oldest sister turning 75. Woohoo. That's great. That's great. June says, seeing you all is like hanging out with a pal. I'm telling you, this community is amazing. So if you're looking for people to cheer you on, people to help you move forward in your life, a structure, some tools to get better insights into you and what you really want instead of what everybody else wants for you, then Get It Done is for you. Um, we start next Thursday. So sign up now. You should have gotten at least one email in your inbox. If you are somehow not on my email list, Get yourself over right now to realsambennett.com and sign up for whatever it is so that you, uh, whatever the free thing is. So then you get on the list and you will hear about the Get It Done program because, you know, we don't promote that place. We don't promote that much outside of the list. So it's really all about being on the list. Um, and Joe says, putting things on eBay to raise money for Get It Done. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's great. I love that. Oh, currently the opt-in is the Habit Trail Encore. Oh, so you can see that training about getting the habits, about overcoming habits. That's fantastic. Uh, Gaynell says, I have an ongoing joyful list where I record the date and what I did. I love that. My friend Laura used to call that a to done list. And she would write down things that she'd already accomplished. I love that idea. Give yourself a little credit, right? Give yourself the satisfaction of looking back and going, oh, I did that. I did that. Yay me. What else can I do? So excited to be working with you all. Um, Yeah, I don't know what to say other than sign up for Get It Done. I'm so on fire about this program and I'd be so sad to do it without you. So please join us. Let's do one more breath to uh, uh, to close out this particular circle. Um, Gaynell says specific for Get It Done. I love that, Gaynell. I think that's brilliant. Um, it just says, yay, all of us. Yay, exactly. Big party. Um, so yeah, please uh, sign up, invite your friends. Let's all do this together. Think of what ha could happen. I got to close the window because it's getting too rainy. It's raining on my computer for crying out loud. Um, what is this? People have weather in Connecticut? I'm not familiar. Okay. Um, but think about all of us just making this much progress every single day on the stuff that matters to us. What do you think could happen to the world? Right? Everybody's walking around like feeling like you are now. Like, I feel a little fooled up. I did some good stuff today. This is all right. Could be kind of amazing. All right, one more breath. Let's inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thanks everybody. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks for doing what you do. Yay.